Well, here we go again, I guess. We're talking about the Montreal Canadiens, and now we're talking about the Calgary Flames, too. Now, I know it's easy to say I'm being repetitive, and I guess I kind of am, but when you talk about hockey-related rumors and discussion, you kind of go over the same topics over and over. We're going to be doing a little bit of deja vu, I guess, at the end of today's show, and it's going to be a great one, by the way, so stick around to 3 p.m. PST on the channel over here. But we're going over an article published on TSN the other day by Salim Valji, and this is a really interesting one that goes over six Calgary Flames predictions for 2022. This piece was published on December 31st, so two days ago, and it goes over a few very interesting ideas that I thought were interesting enough to highlight here on the channel. I think it's going to be some pretty interesting discussion over here. So we're going over two players when it comes to the Calgary Flames. Firstly, we're going over their own Sean Monaghan, a guy who has been in a really precarious position when it comes to his let's just say stability on the team, because when you talk about trade rumors, you talk about guys who are going to be shipped out, you talk about guys who might not have a future in Calgary. Not only is Johnny Gaudreau a name that pops up quite a lot when you talk to Calgary Flames media and fans and speculation and all that, it's Sean Monaghan too. And he's been in this conversation much longer than Gaudreau has. It's been years for Flames fans to go out there and say that Sean Monaghan should be, shouldn't be, could be, would be traded. And we're also going over the Montreal Canadiens right winger Tyler Toffoli. Or not right winger, left winger. He's a left wing on Montreal. He was a right wing on Vancouver, so that's kind of what I'm used to, but... We're talking about Toffoli, we're talking about Sean Monaghan over here, going over this article. A link will be in the description if you want to go ahead and read this. But, let's go over the first little bit here. Here are six Calgary Flames predictions for 2022. GM Brad Trilliving will be active at the trade deadline and bring in at least one significant name, Valji predicts. He goes over here and talks about how this might be the last opportunity for this Calgary Flames team to really go on a run, especially since you got guys like Adro, Kachuk, Mangiapani, Shillington over here that are going to need raises, and these are guys whose futures on the team are not really guaranteed, so you have this core sticking around for the next few months over here. Why not go out there and make yourselves a splash? I could easily see the organization repatriate former Captain Mark Giordano from the Kraken. We've already made a video about that, by the way, so go ahead and check that one out. I also think Trey Living will bring in a top six forward with term, given that he knows there will likely be some turnover on his scoring lines in the offseason. Tyler Toffoli of the Montreal Canadiens makes plenty of sense. Take a look at a tweet that is included by Valji over here. With the Calgary Flames likely trying to add at the trade deadline, I wonder if they take a run at Montreal Canadian Tyler Toffoli. He's a two-way forward, plays all situations, a history with Daryl Sutter, zero no trade protection with long term, question mark. At wing, he is signed at a manageable $4.25 million cap hit through 2324. Now, we have discussed the idea of a Tyler Toffoli trade in the past. We made a video back when he got traded to the Vancouver Canucks in 2020, and we also made the video a few days ago discussing whether or not the Canadians could trade Toffoli again. Not again because they've done it before, but because he has been traded in the past. But Tyler Toffoli is indeed one of the more productive Canadians on this squad. He's got five points in his last five games played and 17 points in his last 26 games, and he's not really playing right now, unfortunately, because he's one of the many Canadians that are either on protocols or just injured straight up. But we all recognize just the body of work that Tyler Toffoli has done in the past few years. He was one of the top goal scorers in the National Hockey League last season, getting 28 goals in the 52-game campaign he had. He also was under a point per game in the postseason when the Habs went to the finals, and it's been a really nice few years for Tyler Toffoli. Now, as we noted in the video we made a few days ago, this year... Hasn't really been the best, but of course, it hasn't really been the best for a lot of Canadians players, so I'm willing to go out there and give Toffoli the benefit of the doubt. 
And besides, he's signed till 2024. He's got that four point something million dollar AAV. If he plays like he did last season and he puts up those kinds of numbers throughout the tenure of his contract, he is an absolute steal. 44 points divided by 52 multiplied out by 82. He's on pace for 69 points last year, which is a very nice number. You do the math on the goals over here, 28 divided by 52 multiplied out by 82. He's on pace for a pretty significant 44 goals as well. So if he's able to be, let's say, not even a 44 goal score, let's say 30 goal score and a 60 point guy, that's a really good amount of production for a guy making $4.25 million a season. And for a Calgary Flames team that isn't really certain to be having a good core, I guess, in the next few years, maybe a guy with term like Toffoli sign until 2024 could be a target. This has been something that Valji has been speculating for a while now. The tweet he posted was back in December 2nd. Now, we're going over another name over here, not necessarily in a trade-like scenario with the Canadians, but there is indeed another thought that is brought up here when it comes to Sean Monaghan. Let's go down onto the bottom of the article over here. Here's another prediction that Valji has for the Flames. The Flames will move on from Monaghan. In what surely will be one of the toughest calls of Trey Living's career, he either buys Monaghan out or trades the veteran center. Monaghan has a 10-team no-trade list and retains some of his $6.375 million cap hit. After hip surgery in the spring, Monaghan has not cracked the team's top six, he doesn't kill penalties, and has just two even-strength goals. Dating back to last season and his last 79 games, Monaghan has 14 goals and 42 points. Given the cap dollars headed towards Kachuk, Mangiapane, and Shillington alone, Calgary needs to find that cap space. Moving on from Monaghan is one tough way to accomplish that. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up Monaghan in this video too is because we have had reports coming out of different NHL media sources that say that Sean Monaghan was actually a target of the Montreal Canadiens in the past. We had that video talking about the speculation before they acquired Dvorak, or excuse me, after they acquired Dvorak, saying that guys like Tomas Hurdle and Sean Monaghan, and I think it was Kuznetsov as well, were indeed players that the Canadiens were looking at and targeting too. If we go over Sean Monaghan and see the body of work that he has, Valji is kind of right. He's got 14 points in 29 games played this season. He had 28 points in 50 games last season. He's a far cry away from the over point per game player he was back in 2018-19. And we all just kind of hope that this version of Monaghan back then is still laying dormant there somewhere because the past few seasons being at half a point a game, it's been a really significant downfall when it comes to the production. And as Valji says, when Monaghan isn't scoring points, he's not really doing a whole bunch else anyway, and he's not even a top six forward on the Flames anymore anyway. So it's really tough to go out there and consider keeping his $6.375 million cap hit with all the factors laid out. He expires in 2023, so he's got an extra year on his contract after this one, and at 27 years old, it's not really like he's going to get any better now, isn't he? So when it comes to the idea of a Monaghan trade, I honestly would not be too surprised if the Montreal Canadiens went out there and expressed some form of interest again. Now, it might be easy to say they shouldn't because they already acquired Dvorak, they still have Suzuki, they have Ryan Paling, who's been honestly kind of on the up and up lately, which is pretty good to see. We always like to see the development and the young guys and all that doing well for Montreal, but... Who knows if there's some sort of interest that says that the Habs might revisit this kind of discussion because at the end of the day, if the Canadians are not really doing all too hot, which they haven't been, any form of help might be an option if you're looking at things from the outside. Especially considering the fact that the rest of this team is kind of depleted right now. Nobody is playing. You have yourselves, I think it's like a $10 million worth team because everybody else is either from the AHL or the ECHL or whatever. It's crazy in Montreal. So when you're looking at anybody, anybody outside the Canadians organization who is an NHL talent, who might even be on the trade block for just a little bit, I think the Montreal Canadiens have nothing to lose by looking at them and saying, okay, maybe we can get them. Maybe we can add them onto our team because we have just such a big lack of NHL caliber forwards right now. And if Sean Monaghan is that guy, it wouldn't really surprise me all too much. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about this article on TSN? Tyler Toffoli trade to Calgary? 
A Sean Monahan trade to be? Let me know in the comments all your thoughts about these ideas. I hope you enjoyed this with your Ash Rolls and I and bye.